we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> the two of you better settle down back there. I'm going to turn this SUV right around. Copy that. Copy that. problem what is it Rick secondary starboard one landing gear is not fully deployed now what well you know the rules without full support the hab is off limits is there any way to deploy the leg manually checking and if we can't force it down we'll have to move to contingency <sighs> bringing up the landing gear diagrams Or can the clocky girl engineer fix the bothersome leg, save the day, and win the thanks of a grateful planet? Right, plan C. I'm gonna need some extra hands to force it. You know, it should lock into position, okay? Rip. I'm gonna pull this down here. Copy here, Romy. I'm gonna push here when I purge the gas line. Got it. All we need to do is ease it down. All right. <sighs> Melt. Hiromi! Hiromi! see ya! Man down! Hiromi, look at me. Can you still breathe? You see ya, Tarek. What's your status? The leg has snapped back on Hiromi. It's got his arm pinned and his suit's standing. We're gonna need some help here. Copy that. We're on our way. Hey, you're gonna be all right. I'm gonna get you down, but I need you to lock your knees. You understand? Yeah, we're gonna force this down on three, okay? okay. Three, okay. two, one, boom! It's starting to give. Come on, you sucker! Oh. Ah. 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 Ramson, Atlantis, do you copy? Describe his condition. Uh, can you give me a visual? Yeah, his blood connector is, is deformed. And there is some blood bubbling out here. How big is the hole? I can't really see it. The blood should freeze. Stay calm. Rick, what's his secondary oxygen status? 40% remaining. It's gonna be all right. We have to get him in the hab. Well, the hab's not secure until that leg's down. Then you'd better hurry, because we're going inside. He'll never make it back to the Gagarin in time. Hiromi, we're going to brace your arm, all right? We're gonna lift him on three, okay? Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, let's get this leg down. We need some more leverage. Okay, airlock's open. Let's get him in quick. A few more steps, Jerome. Be that. Okay, guys, watch yourselves. Let's give this a shot. Widget right there. Brace his arm. At my count. One, two, three. <laughs> Remove the sleeve. Okay. The ring is not embedded in the arm. Attach a shoulder ring. Hey, Romy, listen to me. Okay. All right? You're gonna have to be really still. This is really gonna hurt. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. Take a deep breath. I'm ready. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Good, 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 good. Breathe in. Good. Mm -hmm. 
Lucia, status. We've got an open wound and a pretty bad fracture. <laughs> Copy that. We're on our way in. No one's ever seen anything like it. It's been two days and they tell me the party is still going on in Sydney, Tokyo, Montreal. Wow. It's just amazing. I hope you're having a well-deserved party of your own up there. Houston out. Happy birthday, Adam. 11 years old. My God, you're gonna be shaving by the time I get home. Of course, you know that today was also your grandpa's birthday. Uh, after I finish my work, I'm gonna do something special for the two of you. So you look up here tonight and uh, I'll be the guy in the spacesuit waving back at you. Happy birthday. You know, this is all my father ever dreamt of. Seeing the Earth from another world. Civilizations are either spacefaring or extinct. Easy. Carl Sagan. <laughs> My turn. There is life on Mars, and it is us. Are you kidding me? Hmm? They don't me. No, wise guy. Our fellow Martian, Ray Bradbury. The Vanguard mission of 16 proved there was some kind of simple life on Mars. But the big question is, how did it get here? Did life arise here independently? Or was it contaminated by spores from space? Uh, we're good to go here. How's the telemetry? Telemetry's online. Kiviak Atlantis, we confirm you're good to go. Drill descending. to see this historic site on weekends and holidays. We'll pay a Martian dollar, we'll walk to the Mars Hub, and they will not believe how we survived in these conditions. You Russians are such romantics. Yes, we are. And so are you, Lucio. 
think about it. We have risked our lives every day just to find water so that future generations will be able to make their own oxygen, grow crops in greenhouses, build cities. I figure you should hear the bad news right away. We just decrypted the latest telemetry from the Chinese lander. They reached water. We'll send you the data and more info as we get it, but looks like they beat us to the punch. Oh. Whatever they find doesn't matter. If there's life, we'll still be the first to take it back home. Come on, let's check your arm, see if we can't change it for a lighter cast. huge electrostatic discharge hey look at that it's snowing on Mars Go ahead, Rick. Mikhail and I are on site. Okay, good. So, what's the diagnosis on the drill? Can we do a patch up? Well, if we can find a hardware store, the electronics look totally fried. So, that's it. And I have some more good news. Our last motor was also destroyed. The data's in for ground control. Look at that. That's gotta be sterile. What? What is it? Rick, Lucy and I are just looking at the data from the Chinese sample. It's loaded with calcium chloride. Okay, meaning? Meaning it's saltier than the Dead Sea. You could walk on that stuff. Hiromi's is right. It's highly unlikely life could exist in that water. So what? We won't have any better luck. We have no drill. Of course we do. I know where we can find one. Cheap. Madam Secretary General, Madam Prime Minister, all three Mr. Presidents. It's important that you understand that we are not naive in making this request. No major voyage of discovery has ever been free of political motive, and we certainly understand that. But people have been dreaming of going to Mars for centuries. And so we put it to you that this expedition can be different, because this world that we have come to is different. You are all leaders of great nations, 